digital influencers. These are influencers that are smart guys with a huge ego that if they are lucky, they can grab money. So that's the real downward my definition. Of course, in the books, they say, okay, they have a high number of followers, high number of likes, blah, blah, blah. But in my point of view, everybody can be an influencer. Do you remember Ratatouille, the movie of Disney? Everybody can cook, so everybody can be influencer. Who is influencer in this, in this audience? You can, you can be. <laughs> you and me and myself. But I don't have the guts to it. Okay. Well, so what we want from this presentation? I let you know it. Now, what, how and why these guys who are influencers are so effective? Because they do this, word of mouth. Word of mouth. They, okay. An opinion leader is someone who has power to make people's mind. A digital influencer is an opinion leader who produces content and use and manage platforms, platforms like Instagram and so on, to spread all over the world the message and the message which he or her is interested in. It is not for, for generosity, most of them are not for generosity because they can grab money. So this is the, the mean and the, the, the process through which the, the message is spread all over the world, if you want. Especially if you, okay. Well, the, our, our work is about ethics. ethics. I don't like this definition, but okay, it's a well known. One thing is ethics is universal, uh, regardless of the religion. Other thing is moral. Moral is more contextual, sociological thing. So we should not do this, this, because the, the society, the family, the friends do not uh, like or do not approve. But ethical is only universal. Well, well regardless of this definition, our focus in, uh, in is the, how, how do in, uh, followers decode or <coughs> or interpret digital influencers activity. Well, <clears throat> let's look, based on literature, what is ethics in the perspective of brands, or what is not ethics, no ethical. So, fake likes and followers is a kind of lie. So, and then brands lose, mo lose money about it, you do, do, do that least. Uh, interpretation or, 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 um, or failure. Advertise many products, so sometimes they are comp competing each other because they agree they want to grab as much money as they can. So, the, so this is not correct, it's not decent. Well, <clears throat> I, I, I think if you want me to stay put here in order to, to read, or you want me to speak. Because there are two channels, vision and audition, and I uh, hear so. Hmm? That one competed with another. I prefer you look at my ugly face. So I'm going to speak. So I mean, there, there, that was a, a question not for answering. Because I'm doing, I'm going, I prefer you to listen and look at me. If you have, when I want to read, I read, okay? But if you want me to stop, just raise your hand. Well, let's look. Ethics or no ethical behavior in the perspective of followers. So if you hide who sponsors, it's not a good thing. Another problem. You, if you have many influencers and you exaggerate in your approach to influence others, influencers influence. Make your mind. Um, make you to buy things, to adhere, adhere to, to some principles, or parties, or religion, or whatever. Yes. And sometimes they do it irresistibly, which is not ethical. Well, how, and, and well, they, these are other words. They, they look like one thing, but they are not what they look like. These individuals end up conveying information required by the brand 
often without considering whether it is true or not. So this is even worse. Well, <coughs> that one was our research questions. And we want to understand or to decode in what extent or whether there is some unethical or questionable practices among digital resources. But we did not ask this question directly. We wanted our participants in five focus groups <laughs> to freely, without any direction, to open up and say what they think. So we, we just pick <coughs> what they say, and we are lucky because they mentioned it. So we, we do not influence our followers in one different direction. We just stay put and listen to them. Well, this is the, the research method. The, uh, Sarah follow it. Hi Sarah. Okay, I will be pay attention. This is your job. Five focus group, one well guide. Those participants, most of them uh, uh, follow some someone and so on so on. <coughs> and well third, uh, almost all admit that these number places drive them to buy new products. Even if they not admit Sometimes we do. Sometimes we are not aware uh, that other people influence us, but they are effective in that way. So, but at least half of them recognize it, or, or at least verbalize it. They, they, they are aware of that influence. Well, the, the participants were mostly master students, or some, and some of them were under the degree, because of 18 under the degree, so. Well, um, we perform a content analysis, as usual, and then deeper on it, and we find three sub-components or sub-dimensions. Like, like with all the information, or with all the information, so they do not disclose, they do not open it. False advertising and incorrect attitudes, in, especially in terms of the language, good, rude language. Well, and people lose confidence. These are the, the consequences, logical consequences. When we lose trust, it's like a cooked meat who never goes raw meat. Meat. You know, meat, when you cook, you cannot turn it. Again, into something raw in the original, in the original uh, state. I'm going to say this in Portuguese. Meninas, vocês conseguem converter carne cozida em carne crua? É muito bom pensar. É, é acham que é fácil fazer carne cozida em carne crua? Isso chama-se confiança. A confiança uma vez alterada nunca mais volta a ser original. O rapaz que vê a sua namorada a beijar o outro pode continuar a namorá-la, mas não é a mesma coisa, acho que eu. Acho que eu. E o mesmo acontece com o rapaz. Por isso, a questão da confiança é uma impressão. Ok, just to make you pay attention to what I'm saying. That's why I switched to the post. Well, so let's, let's finish this. As when I present something, when, when we have a, a research work, there are always limitations, there are always conclusions, there are always some contribution or mind mindly contribution. Well, let's look what we found out. We found out some mild aspects related to ethical. Of course, there are other, uh, based on our uh, previous um, literature review, we, we could not find, or could not find specifically <coughs> this topic about influencers. But it was interesting to um, uncover this. So maybe it's a, a start explorative work about what is ethical, what is unethical, what is uh, uh, <coughs> appropriate or inappropriate, and the consequences. Concerning the limitations, 
there are limitations that we use just five focus groups, just 30 performer participants from northern Portugal, and who cannot, of course, there is a huge limitation you should then you have to repeat this in other settings, in other countries, and well, and also it gives some clue, some way for um, other research. That's why the limitations are good. When you say limitations, it's not just to, to finish our work and to destroy it, but to open a, a, a light for further work in the future. <laughs> well, <coughs> this is the end of my presentation concerning this, this topic. And later on, the boss, Pedro, will, yes. will ask questions because I have a few questions. So I can keep on. Yes. Second one. So that's why there is some, uh, let's say, okay.